Hey guys, Rick Lucario here. It's good to be back. And today we're doing a reaction video on that vegan teacher. Or I'm just going to be talking about her. I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens. And I'm having a feeling it's not going to go well. I didn't want to do this, but for your entertainment, I will. Honest, do you want to know who the the biggest opinion basher on the internet is, well then, say hello to that vegan teacher. And she, today, she'll attack the queen. Well, hate attack, more likely, but I don't know, honestly. Let's play the video. Hey everyone. So I guess by now you all heard about the queen of England dying. And I was kind of wondering what you all thought about her. But first of all, let me show you what's written on my shirt, okay? It says, vegan, because paying for the rape. I'm not interested in what your shirt has to say. Kidnapping, sadness, and murder. No longer tasted good. See, I became vegan when I found out what happens to the animals about all these terrible things that we do to them. And yes, we do. It's not just my country, it's every country. There are so many places that abuse animals. The Holocaust never ended. Don't compare slaughterhouses to animals, or whatever we're calling them. Because the Holocaust, the Holocaust killed people. Not animals. Well, I guess humans are animals in a sense. Pay attention in school, kids. We'll look it up on Google. For them. Pigs are still being murdered in gas chambers at six months old. And so many billions of animals are needlessly harmed every single day because the people who eat them, wear them, and use them. So I'm wondering what you think about the queen. Now she died in her 90s. Now let's just assume at the beginning of her life, just like all of us, she was innocent and she was just being fed these dead animals without really knowing what's going on. You know, I always say on this channel that we are all born vegan because being vegan is about the animals. It's not about food. It's not about health. It's about making the declaration that you are not going to exploit animals anymore. And really... Yeah, I don't think... That's ever going to happen. Not with me, anyways. It might happen to some people. Really working hard towards that end. So the queen, like all of us, was just born innocent, was born vegan, and was fed dead animals by her parents. She opened her mouth, do, mouth dutifully, just like we all did. We didn't know the difference between carrots and peas and spaghetti and potatoes and a dead pig or a dead fish or a dead lamb or a dead baby cow, otherwise known as veal. But at some point, the Queen of England must have been aware about what's going on. I mean, she's not a stupid lady. She went all around the world, talked to so many people. Surely she must have been at some point intrigued by the word vegan. She must have driven, driven by in one of her limousines and seen you know, a vegan store or a label on something that said vegan. She must have known. Look, lady, I'm sorry, but people aren't just going to change your eating, their eating habits just because you say so. I mean, you're not the boss of people. I'd hate to be living in your house. What the word meant. She must have known about the animals. So why didn't she become vegan? That's what I'm intrigued about. Like all of these supposedly good people. What stops them? This is why on this channel I try to reach out to so many creators who have millions of followers. Uh, the vast majority of them don't. She never was vegan because she liked the taste of meat. 
Just like I, one of my favorite cars is the Bugatti Veyron because it looks because I think it looks awesome, and its speed is very powerful. Listen to me. You know, that's out of my control. I can still try to reach them with the message. Now, if I could have talked to the Queen of England, I would have said to her, excuse me, um, but you can even hire a vegan chef. You can easily change what you're eating and promote veganism to all of the people that you talk to. You know, you can wear a shirt that says this. Can you imagine the Queen of England going around wearing this shirt? How cool would that be, right? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, lady, but I'm not wearing a shirt like that, even if my life depended on it. But why didn't she do it? Because there's a difference between polite and kindness. When you're polite, you say please and thank you, and you sit up straight, hold the door open for people, wear your little white gloves. There's nothing polite or kind about you. You opinion bash people and force them to become vegan, which even if they, which they don't want to, so. In your hat, in your little pearls, and you don't disturb anyone. That's being polite, but it's not the same thing as being kind. Being truly kind involves bravery, it involves digging down deep and doing what's right. Even if you won't be popular, even if people won't like you, just because you can imagine what it would be like to be the victim. You can just put yourself in their place. You can imagine the terror and the suffering of these innocent pigs who are just six months old. It's not like people don't like you because you're vegan. It's because you're forcing them to do things they don't want to do. I mean, stop this this eight-year-old type behavior. Jeez. It's immature and ridiculous. Who are being gathered after a lifetime of hell and shoved into gas chambers the same way that the Nazis did to the Jews. And yes, I am comparing them the two, the two of them because what happens to the animals is in fact worse. Because instead of it being by the millions, it's by the billions. And instead of it ending, it continues. And it continues even through the actions of people like the Queen. The Queen of England. Can you imagine if we'd had her on our side? If three times a day she would have said, hey, it's breakfast. I don't want any cow's milk. I'll take the soy milk or the oat milk. You know, can you imagine? Lunchtime. Instead of having the chicken, the murdered animal. Chickens are abused on this planet more than any other animals. And okay, this point I kind of agree with. All right. I, I'm, I guess if the queen was vegan, a lot, most of the citizens in the UK would probably change their eating habits. But that didn't happen, and it, unfortunately, I don't know who the who ruler is, but I highly doubt they're vegan. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. You never see them being abused because they're in these giant facilities, hidden from our view. Murdered at just seven weeks old. Imagine if the Queen of England had said, No chicken for me. Tofu, lentils, beans, chickpeas, rice, anything else. I want to be nice. I don't want to just be polite. Imagine Again, I kind, I kind of agree with her. But it didn't happen. If she had done that, God, it'd be so cool. Imagine if at dinner time she didn't say no roast. She would say no roast beef for me. I will be having anything else on the menu. How about you make me a vegan pizza with vegan cheese and vegan meat? Maybe Beyond Meat, maybe Impossible Meat. You know anything else? Can you just imagine? 
if the Queen of England, everywhere she went, on her Queen Mobile, it said, let's be vegan from now on? No, because I don't think anyone would know. What, I don't think anyone would want to know what her eating preferences are. Just like other people don't want to, don't need to know what my preferences on eating are. No one wants or needs to know. I'm not giving up eating meat. I mean, if there's, if there's steak in front of my plate, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to eat it. That'd be cool. Now let's look at the people who are still alive right now. People like Gordon Ramsay. Imagine if he honestly said he had a whole change of personality, which will never happen, by the way, because the guy is a total creep. But let's just say, people like him, all the chefs of the world said, we are tired of abusing animals. We are tired of paying into this system. We are tired of not being brave. We want to be brave and speak out, even if you don't like us that much. We want to do the right thing. We want to leave a legacy of kindness on this planet. So from now on, all of them would wear on their pa on their lapels here, on their, their, their jackets or on their, their chef coats, you know, vegan from now on. I'm a vegan chef. Can you imagine? No, I don't. Because that's never how the world is going to work. That's why. I don't imagine. How cool would that be? Eating preferences. Eating preference changes aren't cool, but they aren't bad either. Imagine if every teacher in the world, when their students asked them what you ate for dinner, they said, vegan food, of course. Imagine if every police officer who ever went into a donut shop said, what are your vegan options? What kind of vegan donuts do you have here? You see, it's possible. It's totally possible. What if every firefighter, <coughs> excuse me, went around and when they were teaching children about fires and how to put the fire out and they went with their uniforms everywhere, said to the students and the teachers in the class, okay. If you are watching this, that vegan teacher, the reason why they don't teach kids about eating, about eating different foods and having different food preferences is because, number one, kids are more into, kid, kids that young are more in more into video games, which video games they can play, and and what annoys their parents. Which videos they, which video games they can, I think they're more interested in which video games they can play and which Legos they can use to build a skyscraper. Classrooms. You know what? When there's a fire, I don't run to the fridge to rescue the vegetables and the fruits because plants don't have feelings. Plants are not alive. Oh, yeah, They're I forgot. Number two, they're firefighters. Their job is to teach children that starting fires is wrong and, that, and how fires start. So they can avoid it in the future. Oh, great. When there's a fire, I don't run to the fridge to rescue the fire out. And they went with their uniforms everywhere, said to the students and the teachers in the classrooms, you know what? When there's a fire, I don't run to the fridge to rescue the vegetables and the fruits because plants don't have feelings. Plants are not. Yeah, but if they did, how would they feel about you eating them? Heartless monster. Well, when it comes to vegetables, you are. Not alive. They're not sentient. We could argue if they're alive or not, but they're not sentient. They don't feel. Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. So it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart. 
You know where to start. The bank doesn't have a heart, but is it okay to take money from it? No, absolutely not. You'll go to jail and get arrested. Right now, you can be vegan from now on. Imagine if all the firefighters taught people that said, we save the animals in your homes. We save the people. We don't save the celery. Oh, I get it. So in that case, we should not kill sharks and let them eat those who are swimming in our beaches. I'd rather have a shark die than an actual human being swimming in the beach die. You know, imagine if every business person, when it was time to go out and eat, they said, okay, it's time to eat. Which vegan restaurant do you want to go to today? Imagine if that was the default. To do good. To be kind. To truly be kind. Not just polite, but actually kind. What a world it would be. What a shame that the Queen of England didn't become vegan in her later years. She could have had such a domino effect. What about the new king, Charles? Apparently he cares about the environment. Does he really? Because the best thing you can do for the environment individually, three times a day, is to eat vegan foods, to not contribute to the suffering and the pollution. But most people won't do that. Because most people are selfish narcissists. But are you? What will you? I'm not a narcissist and I'm not selfish. I do plenty of kind things for plenty of people. Unlike you who just opinion bashes. So ask yourself the same question. Ask people that if you're nice. And then ask anyone who's ever heard of you if you're nice. And see what their response is. Your legacy be. How will they remember you after you die? Now, I have no illusions about how I'm going to be remembered. Sure, I have my Wikipedia page that they started and they wrote a bunch of facts on there. But, you know, sometimes people get facts a little bit wrong. I don't know. I haven't checked it in about a year. But many people will lie and say that I ate animals and that I was a phony because people splice together all kinds of videos like that. But those who will really research, who really want to know, who really care about the truth will know that I tried as hard as I could for the last many decades of my life or however long I live to encourage people to be as vegan as possible. I tried so hard to undo the damage. I'm trying. Don't you want to try? I'm not going to become vegan, and, I, and I'm never going to become vegan. Don't you want to try? Don't be like the Queen of England, who ate dead animal after dead animal, went through her entire body, and then was shit out into the toilet. Thousands of them. Thousands of innocent animals treated that way by the Queen of England. Because of what? Because of stupidity? No. Because the Queen of England wasn't actually brave or kind. She was merely polite. Oh, thank the Lord. That's over.